friends. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so it's been a while. Uh, I've been busy setting up the apartment, busy working. Uh, mostly I've been trying to make sure girlfriend is uh, is happy because I live with girlfriend now. And uh, then just work came and it just did not stop. Uh, tomorrow, or today I guess, it's, it's 3 in the morning, uh, will be my first actual like day off. Which, no, it's not even a day off because I've been editing for the last like, I don't know, 3 hours now. <laughs> just editing photos. I just, my backlog is, I have like 5,000 photos to edit at least still. Uh, but I haven't had a day off, uh, probably since we moved. Um, it's been rough. Uh, and, uh, also, you saw the title, I got hit by a car. So that was fun. Um, so let's, let's, let's give you the, the, the exciting thing first. The reason might be why you clicked on the title. So I was, uh, making a video for a, uh, a car dealership. Uh, they're trying to get some more service techs to come work for them. So they're making recruitment videos. Um, and so I'm filming this kid and, um, you know, I'm getting a good shot. And just the next thing I know, like, I'm on the ground and I'm like, what the fuck happened, you know? And uh, it was uh, another technician was pulling a car into a, a service bay. And, you know, service bays have lifts. And so you have to line the car up right on the lift. So usually the technicians are, are, you know, head out the window on the driver's side and I'm on the passenger side. And I stepped back into him. So, you know, it's, it's kind of his fault. It's kind of my fault. You know, I like, uh, I'm a big fan of, uh, oh, I have it right here. Do I have it right here? Oh, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? It might be up top. It's not up top. Uh, I can't find it now. Why can't I find it? Uh, well, now I'm bothered. Now I'm bothered that I can't find the book that I wanted to be like, this book. Uh, it's a book called Extreme Ownership by a guy named Jocko Willink. And I just rearranged a bunch of books. So that's why I can't find it. <laughs> Not like I could find books before. I definitely can't find books. Down here. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Boom. Found it. Okay, this book. Life changer. Uh, the TLDR of this book is, is basically... You need to shift your mindset that everything is, is your fault. Uh, if it's good, it's your fault. If it's bad, it's your fault. You know, how could you have done things differently? And so for me, <clears throat> it's like I could have been more aware of my surroundings. It's a bit of a dangerous place, you know, a uh, mechanic shop. Uh, I could have had a spotter, which, you know, that was on them. My The clients were there and they weren't watching out for me uh, until the very last second when I had already been hit by the car. <laughs> um, and, you know, it was on the kid to have in the car and, you know, maybe have a procedure because I could have been another technician, you know. Uh, but, you know, I could have been wearing brighter clothes. Of course, when you work on film sets, you tend to wear just like all black because uh, it minimizes reflections uh, and it looks cool and artsy, uh, which is also why you grow long hair and it's not because uh, you just haven't found a new hairstylist because your old hairstylist was your ex-girlfriend's best friend and you broke up with her like four years ago. Uh, but anyway, so I could have, I could have done things differently. Uh, a couple of people were like, you should sue him. And I was like, meh, they paid for me to go to the doctor and get looked at. And the doctor's like, you're fine. Um, you know, I got, I got a bruise, some road rash here. It doesn't look too bad on the camera. Uh, it's really not that bad. And then I got something on my back, which I'm not going to show you because it's like, you know, on my buttocks region. So it kind of sucks to sit down right now, uh, but as long as I don't lean back into things, it's not too bad. Uh, and I just gotta keep it extra clean because you know it's it's by uh, an area more prone to inf 
transaction. So that's that exciting uh, thing. And uh, I've been doing so much effing work lately. Oh, I could say fuck. If you're, when you get past 30 seconds, you can say fuck as much as you want, I guess. I don't know, a lot of YouTubers like complain about being censored, but it even says like in the rules, like you have to like check some boxes of like, does you do, do you do this, this, this? And it's like, did you say the F word in the first 30 seconds? And you're like, nope. And so I guess if you, you can, after you wait 30 seconds, you can say fuck all you want. So fuck. <laughs> Watch this video get flagged. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I've just been working so much. Uh, it's just been nonstop. And it's just been like photos and videos. And helping this big Fortune 100 company like with their live streaming stuff. And with, you know, their broadcasting stuff. And so it's just like... But it's a lot of money, so it's good. It's good. It's a good problem to have. Uh, if I if I send all my invoices out and I don't work another day, could I make it? I think I could maybe make it all the way through the rest of the year without working another day. So that's good. Good problem. Uh, the whole work came back at once, um, and I might actually be getting offered a temporary job with that Fortune 100 company. Um, so they, a friend of mine worked there. What the fuck was that? That was annoying. I don't know what that was. It's a Windows update or something. Um, he, he worked there and, um, he hated it there. <laughs> but he was their guy who did all that stuff. He trained me as a backup for COVID purposes and he actually did have to go out a couple times. So, you know, I filled in. Um, as the quarterback role, and then he uh, up and left. So now I, they hired a new guy to replace him, but that guy doesn't know shit about streaming or a lot of other things. He's a very nice guy, but he reminds me of like Gabe from The Office. Uh, it's, I think it's the way he talks. Um, but yeah, he doesn't know a lot about a lot of things, and that's okay. You know, you learn. Um, I, he, he has the kind of the corporate communication angle down, and he knows how to run like a camera and edit. So that's all good things. Um, and that's why they hired him, but he doesn't know anything about like streaming or like really more advanced camera stuff. I don't think he knows much about lighting uh, as far as like modifying stuff or gimbals. Like he didn't really know how to use a gimbal. So yeah, he'll learn, he'll pick it up. Yeah, he seems like a smart guy. Um, but so I might go be their little studio gremlin and they, they do a lot of studio stuff and they have a big nice studio setup. Uh, and I kind of know how it all works. Uh, so I'm going to train this guy. And they might just hire me to be like on a retainer to just come in when they need me uh, to, to, to do stuff. And so if that happens, uh, I don't know what it would pay yet. I think there might be some negotiation back and forth. But I might be able to talk them into an amount that kind of covers my like basic expenses. Uh, which would be awesome because then I would work you know, maybe, maybe one to three days a week there, and then the rest of the time I could just be free, uh, so I would probably still do freelance work, but I think if, if that happens, I might just not do any freelance work anymore, that, that requires me to edit, which frees up a lot of mental space, because then I'm just showing up places, and, and working my craft, which, lately, I, you know, I've been working into some sound gigs, which is interesting, it's not something I've done before, but I don't mind it, I, used to think I didn't want to be a sound guy, but now I'm like, that's not so bad. Um, and I really like lighting things. So it's like, you know, if I could do lights and sound, there's a lot of camera people, but people are really shitty at sound and they're really shitty at lighting things. And I'm uh, pretty good at lighting things and I, I'm at least not shitty at sound. You know, I'm not like the best sound guy ever, but uh, I know a thing or two. You know, it's, there's still some imposter syndrome with the sound stuff. Uh, also, the sound guys here are real cagey in, in town, because uh, there's only like four or five of them, and they're like super, they get mad anytime someone comes into the industry, because probably because it takes their work, because those guys charge just a fuckload of money. They charge like 12, 13, 1500 a day for these jobs, which I like, I'm like, I would charge like 700, and they'd probably just be super mad at me, you know, but whatever, fuck them, right? Uh, commoditization of, of trades. It happens. Um, anyway, they have better gear. They have more experience. Like, of course, I'm going to charge less. Yeah, old guys send their ways. What It is what it is. Yeah, tell me what to charge then, chief. And then set me up for some jobs. Don't just, you know, don't just complain. You know, help me out then. Anyway, um, yeah, so that'd be really 
is just not being able to just be like <laughs> and just talk to the camera um, because I just haven't had a, a, a video set up uh, you know because like my desk is over there uh, there's this standing desk that's for uh, my bike which is over there um, there's just no room in the apartment like we got this bigger apartment and it's way more expensive than my old apartment and I hate it so much here there's just not space and you live with a girlfriend who like wants things to be clutter free and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna vent about my girlfriend a little bit she has this really uh, what I'm quickly finding is annoying habit of cleaning up my messes but leaving her messes and so it doesn't seem like I have a reason for to put things where I put them but it makes sense in my brain and my brain is dumb it's a creative brain and my hair is all gross and nasty I need to wash it um, but so she'll clean up my shit and then but won't clean up her stuff and I'm like don't don't just don't touch my stuff because I put it there and now I know where it is and it doesn't make sense to you and that's okay it makes sense to me and I don't I think you know I'm being I'm trying to be very accommodating trying to be a good boyfriend uh, but at a certain point I, I think there's a breaking point and I just have to be like okay well look um, I'm being nice you know the, the bills and the rent and everything to live here is like $1,600 a month and I'm paying like twelve hundred dollars of that, so uh, I I should have a little bit more say in how things look. And I know that that doesn't vibe with you, but like maybe we can make you like a fucking lady cave or something, you know? Which is how most I feel like that's the stereotypical thing. You make a man cave uh, for the dude, but it's like even this room, you know, it's not on my because she has like my old ASMR desk is gonna be like her desk when she buys a computer, which she has like been planning on buying a computer for like months now and just hasn't pulled the trigger. I don't know what she's waiting for. Um, and so it's just like, okay, well, I don't have a place to make videos. I made, so this is a, behind this is a bookshelf, uh, which if you go back to my last video, you might be able to see it in the background. Uh, and I just cleared off a shelf and so like my little tripod doesn't fit so i just have like books propping the lens up so it gets to the right height uh the microphone setup is still largely the same and then for a light instead of my big light i just have this little guy uh and he's actually just shining into a notebook so the lighting isn't as good either uh which is just accentuating how nasty my hair looks right now which is you know whatever i got hit by a car two days ago give me a fucking break but I'm fine. I just have some road rash and some probably some fucking, uh, oh, there's a word for it. Uh, it's not swelling, but it's like, uh, it's like swelling, but it's not swelling. I can't think of the fucking term. It's, uh, it's kind of like scar, I, scar tissue stuff. But not, it's not like that either. I can't think of what it is. Um, uh, I hope this is the thumbnail. It's just me going like this. I got hit by a car. I'll be the tech. Uh, so that, all that happened. Uh, I've been eating like shit. I've gained a bunch of weight back. So I'm back up to like 280, which is like, pfft, that's where I was at. Like when the pandemic started, when I found out I had diabetes. Went to my diabetes doctor. My blood sugars are like pfft, way up, obviously, because I gained a bunch of weight. Uh, and so like, so there's a thing called an A1C. It's, a, it's like a 90-day running average of your blood sugar. Uh, and when you're diabetic, you want it to be 7 or lower. Mine was a 10. Uh, for comparison's sake, a non-diabetic person is like 6.3 and lower down to like 5. I think if it's like below 5, like you have other problems. <laughs> Which is, you know, you need some blood sugar. Um, so there's like a, a score you get, and most people are at like a hundred ish. You know, they're they're usually like anywhere from like seventy to ninety. Most of the time, when they eat, it goes up to as high as one forty, uh, but then it comes back down to like one hundred ish. Uh, but if you're diabetic, you know, it could be it could go above that, and it, a lot of people stay above that. Uh, so you kind of want to be below one forty as much as you can. 
And so with an A1C of 10, that would mean my average blood sugar is something like 220, which is you obviously way fucking off. Uh, and that causes all kinds of things. Uh, it, somebody made a, a good comparison that it's like just having like a fucking sandblaster run through your blood. And it's just, you know, it's fucking up nerve endings. It's fucking up uh, vision. It's, fuck, it's a lot of bad shit. And then also things take longer to heal. Uh, so when you're diabetic, you know, when you get scrapes and cuts and bruises, uh, they're more likely to get infected. And the infection, you know, especially if you have nerve damage in your feet and you get an infection in your foot and you don't realize how bad it is, uh, they'll cut your fucking toe off, which is what happened to me. So, uh, lesson, eat less sugar, eat less carbs, don't become diabetic, it fucking sucks. Alright, moving on. Uh, I'm trying to get back into health. Uh, finally, I got vaccinated, which uh, I think I posted about that. I gotta play hockey again for the first time. Not this week, but last week I played hockey again for the first time in like a year, which is great because hockey gets me motivated to get back in shape. I've bought a whole bunch of like workout shit, uh, I, including I got Indian clubs today. Those are so fun. I love them. I'm I'm having a blast. I only I got they're only one pound, uh, which I feel like is maybe a, too light because I'm a big dude and I'm I have strength. Uh, but that was what was recommended was to start with like one to two pounds and the one pound ones were cheaper. So I was like, okay, we'll get the cheap ones. And if I think this is, if I hate it, uh, then I won't, whatever. But, uh, there's some really nice ones from a company called Origin out of Maine. They make a lot of like jujitsu stuff, uh, and they're adjustable. And I think you can get them, they go up to, I think it was like six pounds, which is a, a good weight for like mobility Indian clubs. And then there's, half above that, it becomes a heavy club. Uh, or you might see them called steel clubs. And they go like 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, and people do ridiculous shit with them. And uh, it looks like a bit of fun. It looks kind of like uh, kettlebell training. Which I love kettlebells. I have way too many kettlebells already. Um, <laughs> and I bought some more. You know, so I'm just getting pumped on fitness. And I'm like, okay, let's get my shit back together, let's drop that weight, let's get back on the ice as much as I can, uh, and I think part of that strategy is gonna be making ASMR videos again, because I think when I was, like, in my most, I feel like when I was firing on all engines, I was making these videos every day, and I think, uh, somebody mess pointed out in a comment section, like, it's kinda like therapy, and it kinda is, I could just, like, take my brain and just, like, fucking dump it, uh, there's a thing called morning pages. You might have heard. It's you know this is kind of like a diary. It's a video diary. Uh, but morning pages is you wake up and you're supposed to just like write. You're just supposed to just dump your brain. Uh, and that's supposed to kind of help like defrag shit that's going on in your head and you know process stuff. And I think that's what these videos were doing for me. Uh, and I know at least some of you used them to fall asleep because. I don't know, it's, I have a relaxing, smooth voice and a calming aura. <laughs> um, so, anyway, uh, also, other exciting things that happened, I gotta go to the zoo for work, I got paid to go to the zoo, uh, Omaha is actually a fantastic zoo, it's one of the best in the world, uh, it's certainly one of the best in the U.S., don't believe me, Google top zoos in America. The Omaha and Dorley Zoo and Aquarium will probably come up in the top five. Uh, a lot of times, TripAdvisor is rated at number one. We don't have pandas, but that's for other reasons. <laughs> that's I don't. I heard a theory that it was not a theory, but it was like a pretty well uh, from a reliable source. Uh, that the reason we don't have pandas is because only China has pandas, and they they rent them out. They don't give anybody pandas. You can't buy a panda that they're just rented out from China and one of the the uh we were gonna get the pandas and then China was like oh you have to do these political favors for us and the zoo was like we don't have that kind of pull and you know they talked to some people and they're like we're not doing that and they're like okay well sorry we guess we just don't get pandas then and so we just don't get pandas because fucking China or something I don't it's something like it's been a long time since I've heard that story Anyway, uh, 
recap. I got hit by a car. I'm doing okay, though. Went to the doctor. They said I'm fine. Uh, just some scratches and some road rash and some uh, some, some aches and, and whatever. Uh, my blood sucks, but I'm getting it back to good. Gonna do intermittent fasting. Gonna be working those Indian clubs. Gonna be working those kettlebells. Gonna be getting on the ice. Got an exercise bike. I'm fucking pumped about it. I'm getting miles in until I got a fucking road rash all over my ass. Um, I got a video set up that I think I can live with. Uh, it's not great. I want to maybe do something back there because this looks kind of shitty. You know, it's just the fucking... It's it's not actually that different from the old apartment, I guess. Uh, you can, you know, see my computer. If I get rid of this thing or move it so that it's not blocking. And if I put something on the TV there, you know. If I put something there, I don't know what, but... I'm gonna hook a computer up to it, and then maybe let's play something. So there's just like some visual interest, uh, and then maybe we could strike out this light. Uh, and I have one more of these guys, and then I can make uh, do the color thing. That was cool. I might buy one. I got so much fucking money coming in. Just buy another fucking do more of them, and just fucking have a party lights going on up in here. I, you know, I think uh, that would be a pretty good start maybe a more comfortable chair because i gotta be like super upright because just the bookcase is just like the shelf below is too low the shelf is just a little too high i gotta be real tall uh but this is working this is working okay for now uh i gotta wash my hair that's on the list uh i gotta watch out for fucking cars <laughs> so i'll get hit by a car again and uh i gotta make more videos I want to talk to you folks. I love it. Um, I, don't, I, I love putting people to sleep. Uh, I miss it. And I'm ready to get back into it. All cast, no break style, right? Also, Bear's here. He's doing good. Um, he's, uh... Hold on, I can show you. Okay. Uh-oh. Gonna knock shit over. Uh, the birds are chirping. Because it's 3.30 in the morning. That means the birds are starting to wake up.
complain so much. So I might go to the apartment office and be like, hey, give me a different fridge. <laughs> At least a free where the fridge was on the bottom. But also, having a water filter built into the fridge is such a huge thing. I'm drinking so much less water now that I have to fill up a Brita pitcher. It sucks. I hate it. So I gotta figure that shit out. Uh, I figured out something for my punching bag, I think. Uh, I have a double end bag, and I don't know. I can't hang it like I used to. I used to have it hung on like a doorway. Uh, but I got these really, like, fucking heavy uh, magnets that have hooks that people do magnet fishing with. If you don't know what magnet fishing is, it's you get a rope, you tie a super strong magnet to the rope, and then you throw that shit in like a lake. And then you just dredge the lake for metal stuff, and you, you just clean up lakes. It looks like fun. Anyway, I got the magnet. I'm going to hook it up to, a, like, a vent, uh, and then hook the double end bag on that. And I think it might work. Uh, if I, so if I can get the, the double end bag, that's another. I love punching that thing. Gives me something to do. Um, that helps me burn calories. Helps me fucking get my blood sugar right. Indian clubs are going to help. I'm going to get that shit together. I'm going to get this shit together. I'm going to get my fucking editing done. Because uh, I had an energy drink for the first time in like two weeks. So I'm fucking jazzed up. Uh, which is probably bad. Probably should not have had an energy drink for the first time in two weeks. Because uh, I got way too much energy. And it's 3.40 in the morning. Uh, but I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to, yeah. The Ben Simmons story. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.